Okay, we're going to talk about, in a sense, a library of functions. And so here we go. With this one here, we have uh, verbally, which is basically a sentence that describes the input variable related to the output variable. Okay, an example of this is this. The input value of X is the election year from 1952 to 2004, and the output value Y is the elected president of the United States. So, that same question, there it is, that's written because only one person won the election every year. So we know that each year has only one particular president. That was verbally. Here it is, a list of order pairs that's done numerically. All right? And see here, you can see the year with the president. Who won that election that particular year? Anybody notice a president that's missing that was president during that time? Ford, Ford was never elected. Yeah, all right. So anyway, a little minor note. We only went to 2004. You could add 2008, 2012, and add Obama. But if you go back to the original question, it was only from 1952 to 2004. Sometimes you'll see them written like this. Here's a library of functions numerically. All right. An example of one. X value, Y value. Domain, range. All right. And graphically, you might see it such like... You have the points on the graph on the coordinate plane. The input values are basically the horizontal axis or the X, the domain, horizontal. And the output would be the vertical, the Y, or the range. An example would just be that right there. That would be an example of a function. Okay. And here's one algebraically. All right. Say it's an equation, usually with two variables. An example. Here's one, Fahrenheit, well you calculate it's taking 9 fifths times Celsius plus 32 degrees. Another one might be Y equals 3X plus 2. Alright, that, and that would be an example of functions you have uh, verbally, you have it numerically, you have it graphically, and you have it algebraically.